Okay, so I just want to reply to a question, and that is when to be real with our emotions, when to be real with our anger. Because some people think, well, if you feel angry, it's good to be real. Like, I don't like people who are like fake. They're all like, ha, 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 peace, love, life. But, and they like people who are real with their emotions, like expressing their what they don't like or what they're dissatisfied with. And I agree there's a certain balance and this can be tricky. Like you want to be honest, yeah. And you want to be clear and honest. But I just want to say it, the main point is if you don't want to be real. You want to be real, okay, when you're connected to your heart. You don't want to be real when you're disconnected from your heart. You don't want to be real when you're lost and confused and traumas and triggers from the past. You don't want to be real when you're believing false stuff, untrue stuff. It's something, it's some, it's assuming and imagining a whole lot of stuff that's not even real at all. So when you're doing all these stuff, you don't want to be real because what you're going to do, you're going to be real and like you're going to be complaining, criticizing, giving out, attacking, counter-attacking, defending criticizing, blaming, judging, putting down, and you could say, oh, I'm just being real. Yeah, but that's like really uncareful realness. You don't want to be real when you're being really uncareful either. So, okay, when do you want to be real? You want to be real when you're being super, when you're being very careful. You want to be real when you understand your mind, your beliefs, your thoughts, your, ac your accurate thinking or, or unaccurate thinking. You want to be real when you know yourself, when you understand what's going on. You want to be real when you're connected to your heart. You want to be real when you're connected to someone else's feelings and heart and the fact that they're alive and they're having an experience and they're often suffering or in pain themselves. You want to be real when you're clear. You want to be real when, when you're being careful. So that's, that's all I really want to say. That's the difference between like the idea of like, oh, I'm just being real or oh, you have to be real. Like people saying different things, hey, you have to be real. Yeah, there's different circumstances when you should, should and shouldn't be real idealistically. I just want to cover a little side point also. There's benefits, there's good and bad in everything. Like a banana is considered good, but we still poop out stuff. There's good in everything, like green plants or herbs. There's good in them, a lot of good, but we still, there's still like a little bit of like protective plant chemicals in the plants that we could say is not good. Similarly, if we be real and be really unconscious, uncareful, disconnected from our heart, believing like a whole lot of nonsense or something not even true. If, if we be real when we're not thinking or caring about other people, if we be real when we're just triggered from the past, like traumas we haven't healed from, and we create a storm and so much more pain, ah, it's being real. Like, if, if that's, um, that causes so much more hurt and pain. But, um, there's the one benefit of that is you get to express yourself and you're, you you let the energy open your you, you open up you express emotion and energy okay so you don't suppress it that's the advantage okay so that's the benefit but at the same time look at the amount of negativity and hurt and pain and confusion you often cause in yourself so everything in life is about how much good or bad is in something same with food same with a job same with a relationship it's the positives and the negatives. So expressing yourself and being real, like recklessly, still has a certain a little advantage. You, you've you've taken the burden off yourself. But the thing is, usually you create way more new burdens and problems by all the drama and commotion and hurt you cause. So that's all I want to say. I really do encourage you to be real by being connected to your heart and by being really really careful, understanding yourself, understanding others, having love, care, and compassion for yourself and for other people and um, understanding and knowing your mind and your triggers and your thoughts and your belief system make sure things are accurate and make sure you're clear so try to be real when you're clear connected to your heart and you're being careful and the other things too okay that's with the best time to be real because that's when you connect with people and you heal and you, you forge new good relationships that's the real time to be real you don't be real when you're just like when you're really hurting that's generally not yeah, you'll feel a little bit better, but you're probably going to make yourself feel much worse as well by big arguments and people being real back to you with their stuff too. So, connect. Connect with yourself. Take a deep breath. Am I breathing fully? Am I breathing deeply enough? Slow down and just try and go inward. Self-study, self-reflect. Try tune into your heart and other people and... Um, I hope this video makes you understand the idea of being real.
when you shouldn't be, when you should be, ideally, for the different type of results you, you want to get. So if you want more harmony, love, peace, connection, and lighter energy and happier life, you know when to be real with, as described in this video, yeah? And if you want the opposite, and hurt, pain, and disconnection, often more confusion, you know to be reckless and uncareful with, just, with yourself, yeah, and, and other people. So, um, I love to be real and authentic. It's one of my favourite things to be authentic and to be real. But I like it to be the second, the, the way I described. You know, I've been the first type of real, and others have been the first type of real with me, and it just causes like you know, breakups, violence, fighting, upsets hurt, trauma, etc. So anyway, I hope this video encourages you to be real and to study yourself and to heal and um, enjoy being real in the positive sense, in the very mature, conscious, wise, careful and intelligent way. And life will become so much more better. And you're going to empathize with the pain and the emotions of other people, their life, their physical condition, their mental condition, their emotional condition. And you're going to step out of yourself a little bit also and just have a bigger perspective of seeing a situation and other people too from a bigger bigger vantage point, a bigger perspective and the truth starts to set you free when you see the truth and you clarify your heart and your mind and then you'll clear action as well as you've cleared your mind and your heart. So there's a lot of teachings about this, right action. You have much better action and uh, you'll be rocking in life. So anyway, if you want, if anyone, if anyone's interested in my herb shop or my clarity coaching, look below empowered empowerment coaching or health coaching have a look if you're interested connect with me on facebook thank you for all of your shares likes subscribes favoriting and tell share this please share this video and any of my other videos with your friends or family either in person or on social media i'd appreciate it and it'd be, it would think it'd be good for everybody me included everybody included so anyway i hope you I wish you all the best thank you for your love and time and care and support i shall see you in another video until then see you then see you bye Enjoy this weather, yeah, in the Canary Islands. <laughs>